Hello everyone, welcome back to math roots. Really interesting factorial problem. We need to multiply these two factorials and we need to find out x. We have 6 factorial times 7 factorial equal to x factorial. How can we solve it? On the first side it looks like 6 factorial times 7 factorial. It looks like 42 factorial and our answer is 42 but this is not our case. This is in absolutely incorrect. So I want to start with, with a little bit explanation and you need to understand my explanation. At first you need to know this rule. I show it a little bit later and then you will understand and all, all this problem. So firstly, for example, we have 5 factorial. So I write it as 5 factorial. What is 5 factorial equal to? So we will know that this is a product 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 and times 1. So we will know that this is a classic this is a classic case. But what will happen if we multiply this 5 factorial by 6? So 6 times 5 factorial. What will it will be will be happen? So take a look. I, I write it on the bottom. So 6 and times 5 factorial times 5, times 4, times 3, times 2, and times 1. So this is our 5 factorial from here, and this is our 6 from here. What will happen? Take a look closely. We have a product from 6 to 1, so it will be equal to 6 factorial. And this is the rule I want to show you, because 6 times 5 factorial equal to 6 factorial. So this rule, rule works not with, only with this number, we can easily change this number and I show it why this rule is good for us. So 6 times 5 factorial equal to 6 factorial. So why I write this? Take a look. Let's solve our question. So we have 6 factorial and 7 factorial. Let's write 7 factorial at first and let's multiply this 7 factorial by 6 factorial. But let's write it as, as a product, let's write it as 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 times 5 and times 6 equal to x factorial of course. So I just rewrite 6 factorial as a product. But take a look closely. We all know this formula. So take a look. We have 7 factorial. If you multiply this 7 factorial by 8, so if you'll be able to multiply of course. And take a look closely. If you multiply this 7 factorial by 2 and by 4, I write it right here, this problem. So 7 factorial multiplying by 2 times 4 will be multiplied by 8. As a result, what we'll have? Take a look on this rule. 6 times 5 factorial equal to 6 factorial, then 6, 7 factorial times 8 will be equal to 8 factorial. So we can change this one. We can change this one and this one by 8 factorial. Let's do this. And of course, we can cancel one because nothing changes if you multiply by one. So 8 factorial times what we have as a result. We'll have 3, we still have 3, we still have 5, and we still have 6 equal to x factorial. So what we, what we, what we did right here? We just change this 7 factorial times 8 by 8, 8 factorial. I hope you understand this step. If you don't understand, just, just start watching as well this video with this moment. So what are we going to do next? Let's use the same rule. If we multiply 8 factorial by 9, we will have 9 factorial. But where can we find this 9? We have 3 as well. And if we write this 6 as 2 times 3, we will have the second 3 that we need right here. So this 3 and this 3 give us 9. So what we'll have? We'll have 8 factorial times 3 times 3, 9, which, which will be equal to what number? Of course, 9 factorial using this rule, using this rule, and using this rule that in the beginning. So we change this 8 factorial, 3 and 3 by these 9 factorial. Let's do this. 9 factorial. What we have as a result? We have, we still have 2 from here and 5 from here. Times 2 times 5 will be equal to times 10, equal to x factorial. And I hope you see right now that this is our k that we have before, that we had before. This one, this one, and this one, 9 factorial times 10 will be equal to 10 factorial. This is the rule from behind, equal to x factorial. And I hope you see right now that we can cancel factorials, or we can easily see that our x will be equal to 10. Really good problem. I like this problem so much because this is a trick from here. It is not like a classic case. And on the first side, we can multiply 6 factorial by 7 factorial, we can easily solve it as 42 factorial equal to x factorial and as x factorial equal to 42, which is absolutely, of course, incorrect. You cannot multiply this this problem as well. Thank you so much for watching. If you still have any question, write your question in the comment. Put your thumbs up. I hope you enjoyed this video. I find this 
problem in in one book so i want to share with you so i hope you enjoy it thank you for watching put your thumbs up i really appreciate it and support for my channel of course if you if you can do that if you don't doesn't matter thank you for watching and have a great day